OpenShift with the NodeShift CLI. For those that want to follow along with this video, you will need to have a running OpenShift cluster. You can run one locally with CoReady containers. There will be a link in the description on how to set that up, as well as a link to the example application we'll be deploying. So what is the NodeShift CLI? It is an opinionated way of building and deploying Node.js applications on OpenShift. It can be run as a command line tool using an npm script or npx, or it can also be used in code as a programmable API. Before we deploy the application, let's take a quick look at the code, which is a very basic REST application using Express.js. It has a greeting endpoint, which takes a name and returns a greeting. Okay, let's start deploying this example app. We're going to use MPX here to call NodeShift, so there's no need to globally install it. We're also using the expose flag, which will create an OpenShift route for us since we want to access the application in the browser. The NodeShift CLI uses the source build strategy on OpenShift by default. This means that it will create a build config for you. NodeShift will then package your code into an archive like a tar file and push that to the cluster to start building. Building in this case is just running npm install. The output of this build will go into an OpenShift image stream. If I click on the output to link, we get a 404 because the build hasn't completed yet, so there is no image yet. If we look at the logs for this current build, it should match what we see in the console. Now that the build has completed, we see that we have a new image that lives in the internal OpenShift container registry. This is the image that will be used for our deployments. Speaking of deployments, let's take a look at the topology view. This shows our running application, also referred to as a pod, which can be clicked on to see more detail. Here we can see that NodeShift also created a service for us, which is bound to port 8080, and the route was also created. Clicking on the link brings us to the running application. We can see that our application has a web page that allows you to enter a name. The form submits the entry to that greeting endpoint that we saw earlier, which just returns a greeting with the name you entered. For example, hello Luke. While we just use MPX to easily do things, we can also add NodeShift as a dependency to our application and call it from code. Here's an example of that. All commands return a promise and we can run it like any other node application. The process is the same as before. And since this is the second time deploying, it will reuse the build config that we created earlier. Once the build is done and the image stream is updated, OpenShift does its magic to orchestrate the container management to deploy the new application. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested and want to know more, check us out on nodeshift.dev. Until the next video.